Shadow of the Earth Tree has answered many of the questions we've all had since the release of Elden Ring, and it's raised even more. For the past few days, I've been reading through all your comments about Mikola, Radon, and how it all fits together. And today I'm going to go through and try to answer some of them. I've played through the DLC pretty thoroughly twice now. While I'm no lore expert, I've done a fair share of research to try and piece things together. But if you'd like to add anything in the comments you think I've missed or just to add what you know, it would be greatly appreciated. I'll be adding sources in the description, so feel free to check those out. Oh, and before I start, it should go without saying, but this video will be rife with spoilers, so beware. Anyways, let's get into it. Our first question comes from Sage of Beans and Raccoon and they ask, is it possible that Mikola charmed Melania? Okay, so they're talking about Mikola's ability to forcefully charm people into following him. And while it is possible that Mikola could have charmed Melania, I don't think that's the case. Mostly because during the DLC, Mikola's charm breaks, leaving his followers in disarray afterwards. And if you haven't killed Melania yet, I would think that going back to her would change her dialogue, but it doesn't. She seems to remain loyal to Mikola without his charm in effect. It's also stated that they have been close since childhood, so it's likely that Melania truly believes in Mikola's cause and follows him loyally of her own free will. Next question is from Fairy King, and he asks, If Mikola was able to control Rodan, why have Melania go to Caleb to fight him? In a cutscene from the beginning of Elden Ring, we see Melania fighting Rodan, forcing her to use her Scarlet Rot Bloom. But before she does, we see her whisper something to Rodan, which was a mystery before the DLC. But now we know she whispered, Mikola awaits the O Promised Consort. Melania went there with the sole purpose to kill Rodan, so Mikola could use his soul in the Realm of Shadow, implying that Mikola, for some reason, could not charm Radon. I've seen people speculate that perhaps Radon's will is too powerful to charm, or maybe in order for Mikola to charm someone, he has to get close enough to do it, like he does with our character during his boss fight. Maybe it was just too risky to try with Radon. All right, so next question by Shadow Lord asks, is Mikola able to change gender? And yes, it seems Mikola, like his mother Merica, can switch between two different people. Merica turning into Radagon and Mikola Saint Trina, and even being able to separate themselves completely. As we see with Saint Trina being in a different location than Mikola, which is interesting because I now assume Merica did the same thing with Radagon, separating to marry Princess Renala and even separating to have children with Radagon, which is honestly wild. Next question is kind of silly, but I see a lot of people asking, but are Mikola and Radon gay? And I guess? I don't really think Radon has a say in the matter, to be honest, but I think Consort would imply they are. Why, you got a problem with that? Well, let me know what you think in the comments. The final question is kind of a general lore question, but Michael asks, does anyone understand the lore now? Because I'm totally lost again. And like I said, this DLC did answer a lot of questions, but raised many more. So a lot of the lore answers will be speculation, which is always fun. I will link a video in the comments by a very good lore channel if you want some of these questions more thoroughly explored. And if you watched this far, I want to thank you. And if you like this sort of stuff, leave a like, subscribe, and I'll catch you in the next one. Bye bye.